So you got the meeting, you're in the door, but you quickly realize as you go through discovery that the decision maker has a completely polarized point of view. You believe that they need to think completely different about how to solve their problem. And they go, no, we're fine. We're gonna do this. We're gonna look internally to solve our problem, but you know that they can't do it internally. So you've got two polarized point of view. You're at the North Pole and you see this way is up. Right, that makes perfect sense to you. But they're at the South Pole and they have a completely different viewpoint. The way they see the world is completely different than the way you see the world. So how do you get them to change their viewpoint? And let's just assume it's in their best interest. They're making a bad decision. How do you get them to see your point of view when they see the world completely different? Here's the truth. Until you take the trip from your position, the North Pole, and come down to the South Pole and see their point of view, they will never listen to you. They will never embrace your point of view. We have to first validate what they believe and what's important to them before they'll ever come and see our perspective. But this is very difficult. It's very easy to hear about this and it makes perfect sense, but it's extremely difficult to do. Right now, America is debating about whether to build a wall on the border of Mexico. And some people strongly believe we should build the wall. Some people are vehemently against it. So let's say you're for building the wall and somebody says, well, I don't think we should build the wall. What do you do? Do you immediately say, oh, well, that's great. Let's talk about that. Let me hear your perspective. No, when we hear somebody who says something that we vehemently disagree with, our natural inclination is to start our argument, make our point, go to court, make our case. But this diminishes receptivity. Until we can articulate their point of view as well or better than they can, they're never gonna see our point of view. Two things happen when we take the trip that completely changes the emotional temperature of the room. The first is you have an O moment. When someone has a polarized point of view, there's something that you don't understand. But after taking the trip, you go, oh, that's why you believe what you believe. That's why you think the way you think. That's why this is important to you. And when you have an O moment, your confusion or probably frustration gets replaced with empathy. You care, you demonstrate that you care about the person that you're talking to. Secondly, when you validate somebody's point of view, you're communicating that you care also about what they believe. That's one of our greatest emotional needs is to be validated. So when you demonstrate empathy and you, dim you validate their point of view, you are creating a high level of receptivity and the likelihood that they're gonna take the trip back to your side of the world and see your point of view.